my man and friends. So tonight we're gonna have pizza, but this is not homemade pizza. This is a take and bake pizza. They put your toppings on it, but we're going to unfork our pizza. So basically we get all the toppings that we want except for the pork products. And we got beef, jalapenos, cheese, bell pepper, tomato, and olives. I'm going to add turkey pepperoni. These packages are stupid, they open this way. And I'm gonna add turkey pepperoni to it. Um, and then we're gonna add some other ingredients. So that we can, you know, have pizza. All pizza, every pizza that you know of has pork pepperoni, it has the pork Italian sausage, it has bacon. I mean, don't get me wrong, we used to eat it, but we don't anymore, and yes, it was absolutely delicious, but we followed the Levitical law. So, in order for us to enjoy, you know, some of the things that we used to eat, we have to do a couple Which of alterations. Which is in the Holy Bible. So, the alterations include getting turkey pepperoni. Now, we are not the makers of this turkey pepperoni. We have no idea what really goes into this. We definitely do our best and do our due diligence. Um, and trying to adhere to the Levitical dietary laws, which we don't eat any pork or crustaceans, shellfish, or unscaled or unthinned fish. Um, we don't eat certain um, animals. Um, so we will be doing it this way. This is basically unporking our pizza. I'm going to have the baby ch taste it and so you guys see that it is still good. Really not missing out on too much. You should start right over here. Hmm? Oh, I missed right over here. I did miss the whole spot. Our jalapeno needs some company. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of cheese, just a little bit, because we got to make sure our pepperonis don't fall off and slide off. Okay. And then I'm going to add turkey crumbled sausage. You can get whatever sausage you want. You can make your sausage pizza. When we're eating quick like this, we're not making our own sausage. We are just getting the frozen turkey crumbles and they're already pre-cooked. So these will be another layer of meat. So now we have pepperoni, we have beef, and we have sausage. Again, we do our due diligence to do the best that we can. Okay. What do you think? Do you guys like it? Does it look good? Let me know what you think. Comment. Let me know if you guys ever have done this before. Or <laughs> are we the only ones? Um, I'm going to add just a little bit more cheese. So our toppings again. Once again, they don't fall off. And I'm using low moisture mozzarella. I think my husband wants to help. That's so nice of you. Um, mozzarella is like the creamy cheese. It's gooey. Now, I'm going to do this to our other pizza, but you don't need to see that because it's just pretty much doing the same thing again. But my other pizza, I'm going to add a little bit of crushed pineapple on that one. So here it is. It's going to bake the same time, 425 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how you like your crust. This is going to be so, so good. I'll be back and I'll show you what it tastes like. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I know you guys want to make this. I know you want to make this. Maybe you're having a party and you want people who want cheese pizza, but maybe they want pepperoni and sausage too. You can show them that you care about their feelings and get turkey pepperoni from the store, which is only going to be about two and a half dollars. And then you get some breakfast turkey sausage or the turkey crumble from the store. That's going to be about three bucks, maybe three and a half bucks. You have turned a regular cheese pizza into a pepperoni and sausage pizza. They're going to be like, oh, no, I don't eat pepperoni or sausage. You can say, hey, why? Well, I don't eat pork. You don't eat pork? No problem. This is actually turkey. They'll be so happy. They'll feel like you cared about them and you didn't spend a whole bunch of money. And mind you, you can use any take and bake crust, even if it's already cooked. Try this recipe. You will love it. I'll be back. We're going to put it in the oven. We're going to try this. Hello, Saver My Man and Friends. So, I, my pizza is done. It's been in there exactly 10 minutes. And it's done. And the baby's coming. And this is what my... Oops, I ripped it. Oh, I want you to see the crust underneath. It's brown. It's done. Look at this. Cheese is melty. 
jalapeno. Look, the pepperonis got grease. They're done. And also, the turkey pepperoni oh. is definitely a healthier alternative because it's not as greasy. Okay. So this is done. Check it out. What you think? Looks good. Looks like I bought it from the store. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified when I post new videos. Don't forget to try this recipe. Add whatever toppings you want when you get home. Yeah. Usually we always have the turkey pepperoni and the turkey sausage crumbles. So wasn't much to buy. Okay. Talk to you soon. Hello, Saver My Mana friends. So I am back. I made a garlic butter with parsley and just a little bit of salt. I don't use garlic salt because the ratio of salt is a little too much. And I melted it and I'm just gonna brush this on the crust. So it's gonna enhance my crust flavor. All the you know restaurants are doing this nowadays. They're putting these seasonings and all the herb spices on it, kind of butter, herb, garlic, herb. I don't know, I see it on TV. Um, and the way I look at it is, I could do that, that's not too hard. So basically, I'm just doing the same thing. Um, you can also put some like um, on the pizza, but I'm not gonna put any like on it. If the kids wanna add some, they can. I just I use salted butter salted butter with garlic and salt just a little bit like a super small pinch not too much you put it on right when it's hot when it comes out so it keeps it melts your butter too my butter's already melted but butter cools pretty quickly what do you guys think does this look good you can add mushrooms I don't want mushrooms this time This looks really good. What do you think, Jilla? That looks actually really amazing. I knew you know you. I unporked our food. pizza. You know how I do. Huh? We unporked our pizza. So unporked our pizza. Yep. Yeah, that sounds perfect. <laughs> I didn't even know you were gonna do the garlic bread. Though. Yeah. No, this I'm not doing garlic bread. I'm just doing the garlic spread. Like garlic bread pizza crust. Right. <laughs> I guess like you're that. right. Yeah, like that's pretty good. Alrighty, I think that's enough. I was about to have all our breads. What do you stinking. think? What do you think, people? You like it? Does it look good? I, do. I think we're gonna eat this. This is gonna be so good. Did you say I think? We're I gonna think we're gonna eat it tonight. I love how she said I think. I we're think. Eat this. I think. I think. I no, think. No, no, no. We're not. No, we're just gonna. <laughs> we're going to eat we're it. just gonna like... smell it. We're Alrighty. just gonna smell it, guys. That's, Alrighty. That's it. Got some garlic on the edge. Just edges. smell it. What do you guys think? Let's just make the food just to make it. Can somebody check my other pizza? We don't think we're gonna eat it. We're just check my other pizza, please. Cece, where's my pizza cutter? So, that was a joke. Is it a joke? <laughs> so my pizza's sliding, and I'm doing this with one hand. My husband was helping me earlier, but I left. So, let's see if I can manage. I think it's not too shabby. Look at that. We have some super toppings over here. Like, this pizza is ready. This pizza would be like 24 5 something dollars at, like, Pizza Hut. Look at that. And I didn't pay very much. I got a family size pizza and a large pizza. And I spent less than $30. And I know I got more pizza than if I would have ordered delivery. So, you know I'm feeding a lot of people, so I got to stretch my coins, y'all. This is like our fast food meal, so this doesn't have to go. This doesn't go under my $20, but it goes under my budget of out to dinner. If I would have ordered delivery, I would have probably ended up spending about $50, $60 to make sure. Oh, you guys share. Um, I would have definitely spent about $50. So, what do you guys think? Definitely try to make this. This is like really easy really good you guys are like missing out big time look at that look at all those toppings you can't beat that look at that i'm gonna taste it for you guys mm. 
I think that's pretty good. Maya, you want to taste it? Maya. Mm. Pee, pee. That's pretty good. She's Got some pee. spiciness, some tang, pee. some jalapenos. Hey, Maya, you want some? Hmm. Uh-oh. She's going to take it. Uh-oh, here, eat it. What's in Hmm. Bite. Uh-oh, I dropped a tomato. Look, he's in the pots and pans. Do you like it? Uh-oh, it's good. Is it good? What y'all think? I think she's yes. telling the truth. I think it is good for my baby. Mm. Uh-oh, maybe it's too hot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mmm. So yummy. You want some more? Okay, so... There it is. I think it's good. Definitely try this recipe and like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I'm going to make something next. Have a good day, y'all.